so that's i already talked about the the projects and then project structure how can you uh, how can you implement your applications and uh, microservice based application like uh, microservice application for 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 for, 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 for here for this case i try to make some microservices application for the user registration process then that means uh, we are using the hibernate and jpa to distribute applications so i already i already started the, the how can you make the, the spring boot applications with the spring boot initializer i will show you later in the when i start the development just a here recap what i have what we need to discuss and what i share with you that's the idea to to this skin class and when i start the development i will i will i will show you details how can you build the projects and how can you make this project and start the developments so if you saw the pictures like uh, like we have a two project like i have the same 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 projects uh, built and and then after that uh, you have a list the tables with the one tables for the user registrations user profiles and the registration role and then there is a another constraint I, I will discuss with a bit later when i start the development such that i became what we have to discuss with what i need to be share with you the later part of the screen test so you see that there, there is a there almost five version of the database uh, you have initial migration skip and then you have a sequence creation for the database and then of course this is the already done with the SQL part the database bit part and you have all the development part into the different section of your model part you see the, all the models is here so i will really discuss later of the model how can we implement those type of models even though we will discuss here a little bit the, uh, the hibernate and the mapping part one to one mapping many to one one to many mapping and many to many mapping the possibilities and how can you integrate the your uh, sequence generation from the sql database and call the sequences and all things into one so we will we will discuss together how can we build such a such a rest api how can we such build with those those it those the services and expose the services and maintain the version control systems the database version control systems uh, with the uh, flyway and with the rules this idea so let's 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 let's, let's overlook this the information what we have at the moment on the most important part the uh, migration part so we have everything here. so you see the initial version of the database migration part and the second version of the database you see the versioning systems you have a b1 version and one underscore zero and underscore one and then double underscore 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 this is the convention of the uh, flyway and uh, uh, the script structure or the version structure i can see you have to do clearly define uh, you see the first version is the ddl the definition files and then sequence files and then after that you have the additional table that means uh, in the in the in the lifetime your application in the project time maybe there is 20 or 50 tables and in 50 tables you need to be maintained but with, with the 50 maybe versions or maybe 50 plus versions of the SQL script and it's is validated the, the that means uh, this is the point i need to be clarify with you this is uh,